Hello again book lovers welcome back to procaffeinate with books i hope you are having a wonderful time today i wanted to take the opportunity to start a brand new series on this channel which is books to screen adaptations and we'll be having i think four to five episodes of this one so without any further ado and a lot of blabbering let's get into episode 1 In this particular episode, I have the best books to screen adaptations in terms of movies. So movies that are at least as good as books, and some of them are even better than the books that they are written from or inspired from. And so for that category, the first book that I have is Little Women. Louisa May did express that this book was actually inspired by her own true life. So that is why there are a lot of elements that will give you. that portion of reality away in the writing style of the book talking about the story point it's about four different very different sisters who are both apart from each other look, living together in a cute little house when their father is away on business during the war times and then they are just trying to make their own path into the society it's a timeless theme of war times love characters and all those things that you would love to read in the book and also a sudden clash between the personality to actually go after your responsibilities all you know pursue your ambition and be a girl's book in a man's world now both the book and the movie are equally loved by me i actually loved the movie that came out in 2019 which also had emma watson and she was one of the reasons that i really wanted to see this movie because i really admire her work but i was so astonished by the acting of all the four people it was done so well even the supporting cast was really chosen well and i think both the movie and the book are wonderful for you to consume in next up we have emma by jane austen now this is one of my most read classic books that i have reread multiple times so needless to say the book was obviously my favorite and when a movie came out in 2020 focusing this particular one i absolutely had to watch it and i did enjoy it i wouldn't say that the movie is better in this case but it does match up to the core values of the book quite well and it captures uh, the overall essence of the book in there now emma is a story of a debutant girl in the society who is quite well paid off financially and hangs around in her elite society and is usually pretty sweet to people a bit witty at times but her comebacks to a lot of sentences are hilarious which i loved in the book especially however she has this intertwining habit of intermingling with other people's lives especially in the match making business and then she makes wrong matches one after the another and thinking that she has a superior call over other people's life and that's where a flashback into the mirror happens in her life with a special someone entering her life and you know putting her right back into the place and that's where the whole thing turns out to be it's a wonderful victorian themed movie and the book so it's a really good enjoyment to have at least once in your lifetime next up i have the maze runner which is a trilogy and also a trilogy in form of movies as well now this is a dystopian science fiction fantasy book where they are conducting certain experiments on human mind and each day in the first book at least they put up a human in cage or every few days and the only thing that person remembers is their name and they are introduced to a brand new surrounding where there are certain players in mind and every day in 24 hour clock when the walls separate different beasts come out and you basically have to survive that and find your way out of the whole maze that's the whole theme of the first book and then the second book and the third book actually you know coming out of the maze and finding a cure of what's actually happening behind your mind and exploring that that the earth is almost destroyed deserted place kind of a thing and the only places that are currently functioning are the people who are trying to control these people's life so that's all dystopian vibe in there and if you like dystopian books and movies i think you can check them both out my next book recommendation for you all is death on the nile by agatha christie which is a amazing book short and amazing book and also a amazing movie adaptation too that just came out a few year back and the story here is mainly obviously a murder mystery investigation where a couple who just got married goes up the river nile into the cruise and there the lady actually 
dies off and now Hercule Poirot steps in to investigate who actually killed her because she does not look like a natural death to him at all and that's where the whole murder mystery investigation kicks in i think even in the movie all the players have done such a wonderful role that you would enjoy most parts of it at least some portion of it will actually look like that yes you have jotted down the right person but when you move towards the end at that point of time you will be sure like ah i got you now so that's how the book is it's a easy peasy nice mystery book and if you are in for a mood of fun watch i'm sure you can check this next up i have the devil wears prada and can we just keep the book aside for once and appreciate the amazing piece of art this movie is i mean come on it is one of my most watched movie after harry potter i think i've watched this movie like crazy person and the story in here is pretty simple an introduction into the fashion world and how things actually operate within the industry and for a particular magazine the overall office politics the corporate culture to be uptight the british accents of few people and emily's response to every savage thing is just a thing to kill for and this is the only place in this video where i'll be probably telling you that the movie is way much better than the book you must watch this and after watching the movie if you still have energy left you can also check out the book in this case or oh, because it's obviously the opposite order here up next i have dan brown's angels and demons which is one of my favorite robert langdon series books and i've also watched the movies a couple of times because i do love it now here in this case i won't say the movie is better than the book but it does contain all the right essence of the book obviously because the book was literally this thick a lot of portions of the stories have been skimmed through but it still maintains the overall essence and the points that the book wanted to convey in the movie as well so i think it's a good bet to show as an equally possible case of a good job of adaptation done in this case the story here is starting from the point when a pope actually dies the catholic church decides to you know bring along all the remaining fathers to the vatican city and go up for the next election of the successor for his position and to find the next pope and while these things are happening one of the fathers who is also a scientist actually created antimatter in three of his canisters but he has been murdered suddenly and the three canisters that he actually created are now missing and now robert langdon steps in to investigate the death of the father and while he's actually investigating he finds out that the four fathers who were supposed to be the next successors or could be the possible successors have all been kidnapped and it is supposed to be done by the secret organization of illuminati and these were actually the people who were operating as the men of science in the olden age like the age of galileo where science people were actually burned and stakes just for calling earth it's not the flat it's round such kind of a things and were people who were conducting any kind of science experiments were actually you know burned stating that they are witches and doing witchcraft and were not allowed to pursue the path of science so they formed the secret organization and that's where the whole mystery is revolving around here so if you feel like reading a science fiction that has a lot of murder related element to it secret societies and a lot of innovation side to it then this might be the book for you and also the movie my next recommendation is a very light one confessions of a shopaholic and this in the book form by sophie cancela is a part of six book series but the book i am talking about is the first book and don't worry it doesn't end on a cliffhanger it ends by itself so even if you read just the one book you would be probably doing fine but what i wanted to talk about in here is this movie rebecca bloomwood who wanted to be a part of the fashion industry but ends up giving financial advices in a financial magazine and trying to help them understand the worth and not the cost they pay of the money they have in hold and while she is actually trying to get her life on track she is indebted a lot because of her shopaholic nature and because of that there are a lot of troubles that she'll be landing in so if you want to do nothing better than just sit around chill watch a light movie that has some good sense into it i think you can check this one out 
and that my friends were my favorite movie adaptations from certain books that i wanted to share with you all and that will be all for this particular episode but do stay tuned for episode 2 that will be coming out next month on the same week time slot and until then keep your coffees warm and your tbrs long have a happy reading and watching time goodbye Thank you.